Alright, so I noticed that my 17 challenge video is still my most popular, and it has 45 videos as of last, or views as of last time I checked it. So hopefully some people will be doing it, and if you are, again, please post in the description. I would like to watch them. This is a rematch between me and that Soviet Unicron from before. This is um, To The Max Part 2. So I'm going to go ahead and start, and just to kind of see, I'm going to start off with my best Pokemon, Timpole. And I'm um, predicting a switch into his Mudkip. I go for a Skull just to try and get the burn, because... I'm like that. Fortunately, I don't get the burn, and he has leftovers, which is great. So I go for a supersonic like I tried to do last time. And he's confused, and finally, he is himself in confusion. But he does get into the back, which is a little bit disappointing, but not all that much. So I'm going to go for an echoed voice, just because it's better than Scald at this point. So he's confused, and he's going to go for a yawn. And no one likes when people use yawn, because then you can... Sw you Kind of have to switch out unless you don't want your Pokemon to sleep. Instead of just having it be asleep. So I'm going to go into Trubbish, one of my walls, and he is confused, but he goes for a counter, which I really don't get because, again, special attacking team, really. So, um, his subway is still confused. He's going to go underground. He actually outsped my, um, Trubbish, and I'm not going to want to get hit by this, so I'm going to obviously switch out into Woobat, my flying type, and his dig attack is going to do nothing. So, she knows that my Woobat has energy ball, so he's going to switch out into Geodude. But, that's two times effective, but thanks to his sturdy, he lives with it. And apparently his 1 HP is actually 9%, so, yeah. So I hit him with an energy ball. It does do more than I was expecting. So I'm, I don't want to get hit by this thing, so I'm going to call Wubat back. He's going to go for a fire punch. Doesn't do too much, and his Chimchar is hurt by his life orb, which is pretty good for me. He's going to set up a substitute, and I'm going to stealth rock him, just to make sure he doesn't bring out something powerful and have it try and sweep me. Then I'm going to go for a rock blast and break his sub, and I... I think he might have forgot that I had a Rock Blast when he used Focus Punch. Not entirely sure, but it's all good. And this is where it gets interesting. Cause he's going to go for a Waterfall, and that's going to take me down to 1 HP. And then, so I'm going to go for a Flash Cannon, because I was being stupid. I'm not going to really use Rock and Roll again anyway. So I'm going to call him back. I'm going to try and go for a 6 L, and I'm going to go into Temple, expecting another Waterfall attack, and... He does go for one. So Water Absorb didn't do anything because I already have full HP, so I'm going to go for the same play and go for a supersonic attack. And it hurt itself in confusion, which is again pretty lucky for me because that usually does not happen. So I'm going to go for an Earth Power, see how much that does, and now his confusion has ended. He's going to go for a Dig, and I am going to do... The obvious smart thing, and switch out into Wubat once again. And so, I'm going to try and go for, you know, the usual move. Because that's just how I roll. He's going to go into Geodude just to take the hit, which is like fodder off. But because I had Stealth Rocks up, he only had 1 HP left, my attack did not have a target to hit. He's going to go into Ogre Snot, the Grimer, and I'm going to be pretty happy here because I have Psychic, and he switches out, and he goes into um, his Wingle, and that still kills it considering I took out 25% of his HP with um, Stealth Rocks. He's going to go back into Subway. I made a comment earlier, Subway eat flesh because his Mudkip is a beast, apparently. So my Energy Ball kills off his Mudkip. It's getting pretty close to the end, I'm not going to lie. He brings out a Zubat. And, of course, it's a poison type, so I can go for a Psychic. And I do reveal that this Zubat is actually meant to counter pretty much his entire team. Because we looked at each other's teams earlier, and I chose the Zubat because it had the best type matchup out of all of them. It could learn pretty good moves. So, that was a pretty good battle. That was my first recorded 6-0, second 6-0 ever. Um, 
kind of interesting. I was almost not fictional considering that I got knocked down to 1 HP a couple times. So just going for a 6-0, I decided to keep my Pokemon in, see what would happen. And that is how it turned out. Sorry for not posting. Been to toss lane, kind of tiring work. Haven't really had much time to, you know, post videos. But I do have the day off tomorrow, so I should post 1 to 2, most likely 1, because my computer is extremely slow on saving. It takes about half an hour to save a regular video. Not to mention the time it takes to make it. It'll probably be a Pokemon Gold, and we'll just see what happens there, because I'm not going to plan it out. So, yeah. Again, check out my 17 challenge. If you guys want to, you know, do one, because that'd be pretty awesome, you know. And I'm going to leave here, so I, uh...